They say in poker, we are going all in this morning with Rick Moon, an executive chef of one of Las Vegas' hottest <laughs> restaurants, RM Seafood. Rick will be part of the fifth annual Vegas Uncorked by Bon Appetit Culinary Festival. It's coming up in May, and this morning he is giving us a quick preview. Great to see you, young man. How you doing? Chris, it's a pleasure. <laughs> hey, let's talk about this Vegas Uncorked real quick. Uh, oh, yeah. What's going to be your role this year? Well, I'm going to be doing uh, Better by the Bay, which is at the, the beach at, yeah. at Mandalay Bay, and I'm going to be serving the Moon and Doggy. Oh, the right. Moon and Doggy. I'm, dog. I'm here to reveal to the you the moon, secret. Well, you know, sustain well, sustainable seafood is your thing, right? It certainly is. It's uh, all about not p actively participating in the extinction of a species. Yeah. A hundred things you can tell about that. Okay, I have shrimp in here, fresh Gulf shrimp. All right, and this little. is the, the moon and doggy. This is your signature. This is something you came up with. This is what we cr I've created this, and we're, we're, we're uh, making it now at, at my restaurant in Mandalay Bay. Okay, what are you putting in here? Okay, so that's ginger, going. garlic, shallot, and shrimp. Mm -hmm. All right, a little bit of lime zest. Lime zest. Okay. All right, some sugar, fish sauce, and this is very salty, so that's your salt. Okay. All right, a little egg white. This binds it together. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, is when we just kind of get this get this whole thing rolling. How many shrimp you got in there? Ah, uh, that was about a half pound of shrimp half right there. Shrimp? Okay. Okay. Grind Turn it, it off. Is there, a, is there a right time to end the uh, the grinding, or you, I mean, you don't um, want to when it's still right? a little rough? We don't want to puree, but and we're going to mix in that scallions and cilantro. Okay. So I mean, this is a lot of complexity to to, to, to this uh, to this mixture. And, and, and then I stuff it into a casing and make a hot dog out of it. Or you can, and this is the puree. This is what it looks like. Right. You can, I'm going to put a little oil on my hands because okay. that, that's going to have a dual purpose. One, to lubricate your hand. Mm -hmm. and, to, and you can make like a, a patty out of it as okay. well. And you just put that right on your grill. Cook that. You can put it on a... Uh, on a bun. Where'd you come up with the name, Moon and Doggy? Well, I wanted to call it Moon Doggy, but yeah. my last name is Moonin, so yeah. we, we played around with it. I've already trademarked it. We're gonna we're gonna roll it out somewhere <laughs> along the way. And here we go. Okay. Top. Some hot dog buns. Put them on the ground a little bit. Put put your Moon and Doggy in there. Okay. And then this is a little chipotle sauce. All right. This is the we call this the dude. That's the nickname. Whoop. The dude. Yep. Beautiful. Put a little dude in there. Some uh, some uh, cabbage slaw. Wow. Which is, a lot a little, going on here. And oh wait. These are togarashi chips. We call them toga chips. We're putting chips on here, too. Yeah, they'll give you a little crunch. Okay. That's, a, that's a big bite, but you know what? That's it's, right. it's, it's got to be. That's right. the way it is. Okay, well, I'm going to show you how to also why you're, why you're eating that. I'm going to make a little honey, mm. uh, a honey chipotle sauce. Mm. It's not bad, right? Mm. It's, a, it's, it's, worth, it's worth the trip, for sure. <laughs> here we go. So, yeah, we're going to be serving that on the beach. We're going to be having fun. You know, I was, put your feet in the sand. And, and the thing of it is, all the chefs, all the big chefs, if you, mm -hmm. it's my little spicy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> spicy hot or hot hot? Hot hot, sorry about that. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. It's an aggressive, aggressive bite. All right, well, and I like that about you. Okay, that's a little <laughs> chipotle, which is Good a smoked though. jalapeno honey okay. to balance it out. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What are you making here? <laughs> <laughs> it's a honey chipotle sauce. It's an okay. alternative to the that's the that's the chipotle okay. dude, dude, but this this is a little sweeter, okay. right? In case that's too hot for you. Mm -hmm. Smoked paprika, I have honey in there, oh, wow. and a little Dijon mustard ketchup because best condiments in the world. Yeah, and there are a bunch of different variations you can use here, huh? Correct, and you get them all in my book. I mean, these are all recipes out of Fish Without a Doubt so we love that, I, that I created. All right, this is a little vinegar, cider vinegar, lime juice. That's your acidity. You got your sweetness. Grind that and, up. All right. Some oil. It's a straight mix. Bang. You just put the top on it, zip it up, and you got yourself a... Uh, you just put that in a squeeze bottle. Look at that. that honey. It's thick. Done. Hey, let's talk about your kebabs here. Okay. Spring's almost here. Yep. We're going to throw some stuff on the grill. Little brochettes or kebabs. Same thing. You got it. All right. So here we got a combination of swordfish, scallop, and shrimp in three separate marinades. All right. One of the marinades is a uh, citrus tequila. A chip, another chipotle. I'm the like you, you really like that chipotle. I'm big on the chipotle. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's good though. There's a theme here. All right, chipotle, um, uh, orange chipotle, and a provencal. Provencal is just garlic and and uh, anchovy, yep. chili flakes, and a little olive oil marinade. And and you can put these in a Ziploc bag. Take them out. Lubricate with a little bit of oil yep. on your uh, you know. Put them on your grill, give them a couple of minutes each side, and it's really kind of a preference. Whatever seafood you like, make whatever kebab you like, huh? Absolutely. And, and you for, you recommend a little, something a little to wash it down, correct? Yeah. This is a... Uh, what do you got there? It's never too early for a good beer, you know what, what time saying? is it? It is... Well, it is 8.49 in some spots, right? Cheers. Well Cheers. done. Ugh. Oh, Rick, that's good. 
It's fun, you know? <laughs> and I, served, I served, actually I served these Moon and Doggies at the U.S. Open. They're great. They're yeah, really, really good. We cranked them out. It's good to see you. Good luck with everything. Back Thanks, in Chris. Vegas. If you're in Vegas, check out the restaurant. All right. All right. Rick Moonen, thank you so much. And you can find these recipes on our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. <laughs> and we will be right back. This is The Early Show here on CBS. I got to tell you, I really did burn the inside of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs>